this bird for throwing the table at me. And then it missed my head, mate, about five inches, I'm telling you. So, gripped a bite, uh, got started whacking her head off at Bannister. But I took a, I took a chain. Yeah, man. <laughs> What chain? I ain't got no chain, mate. It's already been sold. <laughs> it's already been pawned in. This is my calendar I had stuck on my wall by um, toothpaste. Five weeks and four days in total on remand. It started on a Sunday, I was in the cells. And then Monday I went to court and I got remanded to Newall. And then I got out of Newall because I went to court the next Tuesday. And then I breached my bail and I was in the police cells. And then I went back to court and I got sent to Crimes committed by young women have risen a phenomenal 40% since 2003. No longer the fairer sex, girls are beginning to catch up with boys for drunken disorderly, violence and theft. Filmed over six months, this is a story about two of the girls who are committing these crimes. They live in separate cities, but for both, their days are dominated by drinking and drugs, dodging CCTV cameras in the corner of prison. Oi, oi, piggy, piggy, oi, oi. <laughs> For 17-year-old Abby, home is a hostel in York. She's been arrested over 50 times, often when she's been drinking. Special brew. You can do it when you special brew it. <laughs> Basically, it's survival. It's just surviving, it's looking after yourself. 20-year-old Shauna is from Doncaster and has been to prison three times already. I'm very hated around here, very hated. But I don't care. If you don't like me, don't look at me. Do you know I'm on TV? Do you know I'm live? This guy is racist. Everyone look at his face. Very racist. He's the one that tries to terrorise me every day. And I do, and I love him. Because he's a bully. He can't even get a girlfriend. I've never seen him get a beard in his life. Why do you talk to me? Why do you talk to me when I hate you? Why? Why do you do that? Oi! Stop talking to me. Why don't you hate somebody you can beat? Why don't you, you know what? Who wants to fight you anyway? One on one. He said, he said, you bring your brothers and we'll bring our brothers and watch what and bring your sister. Now I'll knock him out for using your mouth. Is that what he said? You must want some of this, mate, because why won't you just leave me alone? 20 year old Shauna has served a couple of her prison sentences with her best friend Jodie. They're often partners in crime. A little bit of a manoeuvre happened the other night, didn't it, Jodie? What manoeuvre? A little bit of everyone getting arrested. Yeah, because yeah, of you. Because of me? Yeah, How about yeah. because of me? Yeah, How about because of me? How about because of me? What, what happened the other night? Um, what did happen the other night? I fell over. You had a knife? Do yeah, I yeah, say you that? Did. Like, yeah, you did. Because you, knife, you were going to fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> HM prison service bag. 17 year old Abby has been imprisoned three times, most recently for breaching her court order given after she was caught with a kilo of cannabis. She was released this morning and has moved into a hostel with help from her best friend Lauren. I wrote a poem while, while I was locked up. It was the best poem ever. It was. I wrote a poem. She has much potential. <laughs> what, what was the poem? It was about me and her about a couple of weeks before she got Yeah, it was up. about the two weeks before I got locked up. It was, um, it was like, me and you... Wait, shh, run, I'll, I'll say on, it. Me and you run round town, yeah. filling our bags so our pants fall down. Yeah. Lauren runs, Abby stays, store detective on their ways. Thanks. Running through market stalls, Max. Max and Spencer's suck Max. my balls. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Abby's been put on electronic tag. This means she must stay in her hostel room every night from 7pm to 7am for the next three months. 
she also needs to attend several hours of appointments every day with the youth offending team. How does it feel, Abby? Not very good, obviously. <laughs> you see me on tag enough times, isn't it? Do you know Abby? Have you met her before? We have, yes. Only a few times. Not many times. <laughs> now the tag's been fitted, it must stay on your ankle. Don't try to remove it, it's your responsibility, it stays on your ankle. You understand everything you need to do? Yep. Yep. My first day out, my first day in. <laughs> so you'll go to prison if you break it? Yeah. At least 12 months minimum. So 12 months if I'm lucky. What are all the coppers in town for? Here's your uh, two star detectives that like to follow us. We're not going to put you on camera. Look at radio. You're not going to be on camera. Oh my God. Star detectives. See him with his little. Yeah, I've got a microphone thing too. Yeah, uh, can I have a PNC on her? Abby Nibble and Lauren Nibbles, please. Arrested for street robbery, shop thefts, possession intent, assault, assaults, yeah, and actual bodily arms and common assaults. She goes shoplifting, she'll get some beer. Yeah, and, and then, then she'll I'll go, go and assault, assault someone. <laughs> <laughs> what, because you're drunk? Yeah. yeah. But what do you think about shoplifting? I think it's easy, piece of piss. But it's not right, is it? No, it's not right. I'd rather steal from a shop than from a friend. If we had money, say if we had like yeah, if 150 money, pounds then... every day, it'd be all right. Yeah. Well, what's 89? You get 90 pounds every two weeks of last year, and that goes in within three days. A good night out. <laughs> well, and that's like benefits. Yeah. yeah. So, like plenty of other people like live on benefits and don't commit crime. Cos they ain't got the no bottle. <laughs> this is... Um... Memories. This is the memory box and this one, and I've got another two in there. Shauna lives at home with her older brother and sister and her mum, who was happy for Shauna to be filmed but didn't want to appear herself. Shauna makes a big impression wherever she goes, and prison's no exception. Ah, oh, this is the first ever time I went to jail. This book, my leaving book. I was 17 year old. <clears throat> Quite nice. I'll read you one of them, a small, simple one, cos they all say the same, do you know what I mean? Oh, I'm not reading off that bitch. I'm not reading off of that bitch. I'm not reading off of that bitch, not that bitch. Read off of this girl, cos she is so sweet. She's from Wrexham in Wales, North Wales. Um, well, Shauna, I'm off one day after you. It's buzzing that we're home for Christmas, isn't it? We've had a few laughs together and some proper good conversations about, you know, sex. Well, not long now to, and we'll be making up for lost time. I reckon you're a sound lass, Shauna, and mad as fuck. Try not end up back in this shithole, cos you're much better than that. You should be out there making people smile like you're doing here. I'm gonna miss you, mate, eh? So take care and behave, or at least don't get caught. Lovely lass. Did you go back? That was my first time, yeah, I went back another three times after that, so... <laughs> what were you in prison for that first time? Breach. Um, I got done for breach of my probation because if you breach so many you get like three chances and obviously I just fucked it clean off and what they have to do is like well obviously you're not going to do your punishment this way we'll have to sentence you again for it and plus put a breach on top I just had so many stuff in such a little time like in the space of nine months I'd like 15 16 charges convictions I mean <laughs> what kind of stuff um oh theft um, assault, assault PC, obstruct, handling stolen goods, f deception times five, signing credit cards at Christmas time. I felt great. I think he likes uh, cameras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Abby, what time is it? Uh, I don't know, past tag time. Past tag time? Yeah. So what does that mean? I've breached by 11, 7. Four hours or three hours or something. What do you think you should get? Think about getting home? 
Yeah, I was gonna, like, yeah. Oh, it was gonna be about ten minutes <laughs> late or something, no, but like then yeah. I just, <laughs> I know, yeah, I just didn't. What happened? Because all my stuff's in storage still, right? I don't even have my telly yet because it's in storage, so I'll just be there twiddling my thumbs. I've got less stuff than I did have in my cell. That's why I was like, well, I might as well breach, because if I go back there, at least I'll have a TV. What, so prison's looking like? Yeah, like holiday camp again. Holiday camp? Yeah, Butlins without the swimming pool. Do you miss prison? Well, when I got out about half an hour later, I was like, is this it? <laughs> is this what I've been waiting for? Abby, do you want us to help you get home? Yeah. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah, we're all no. Back to your home. You can't come to mine, I get kicked out. You've got to go back for yourself. Shut up. So you're, you're choosing to stay here tonight then? Yeah, I'm not going home. I've already breached. Hello, Davy. Very nice to see you today, love. Shauna's been going to her weekly probation appointments since she was released from prison two months ago. Today is her last appointment. So, Shauna, technically, this is the last time you're ever coming here? Yes. Well, well, this is the last time for this sentence. I'm not saying I'm going to get another one, but who knows? Who knows? Are you OK, Shauna? Yes, I'm OK. Well, how is your mum? Fine. Brothers and sisters? One brother's in prison, other one's fine. Any issues with drugs? There was, but now there isn't. isn't. No. Yeah, my, my, my concern was um, the way you manage your anger. Because mm, remember... That's what I do. I still need to, I think I still got a bad issues with my anger. I like smash things and that, don't I? I mean, yeah. I am actually trying to sort my life out. I am actually trying to sort my life out. That's... But it's so hard. It's so hard, you know. If you have anything, Shona, you are not sure of. You, you do have my number, and it has been nice having you on supervision. Hope this is the last time I see you. Thanks a lot for your help, mate, and I'll try not to see you again. What are you doing? Having a shotgun. What the flipping hell's a shotgun, man? Apparently they get you pissed really easy. You're doing it first, whatever it is. It's just four days since Abby was released from a young offender's prison. She's already breached her tag order and now she's on a final warning at her hostel for letting people stay over. What are you filming? The drink? Yeah. Right. I'll give you something to. It's starting to come for the wee. Bottles and some bottles. Martini. How long does it take you to get through all of that? Uh, two, three days. Maximum three days, isn't it? Where's it? It's when I first moved in here just before. I got sent down. 12 point something units in each bottle. No, it's 11.3. So if you drink two of these, then it's 22.6 units. And you burn one unit off an hour, because I've learnt that from my drugs and misuse work with people. You burn one unit an hour, so I will be still drunk for a full day, near enough. What's that, Laura? Um, Abby's timetable. It's my life. All right, week one. This is a, it's an all right week, actually. It's supposed to do, like, minimum 25 hours, but it's my first week and that, so... So how are you doing so far? <laughs> I breached today and last night. I've got to go to the gym, do substance misuse, drugs work, life skills, cook and spot for how many hours? One. So three and a half hours after cook and do sport. That sounds well fun. Relationship work. Oh, I can't wait for next week.
Shauna may have finished her probation, but she's soon back to her old ways and shoplifting with her friend Jody. We reckon a bit of money, aren't we? You know, a few pairs of jeans, nappies, links, lit deodorant, toys, jewelry, toys. Join for ourselves. Yeah, don't show me a uh, tie. See, that is nice, isn't it? Don't you think it's go out with? And the earrings as well. I think it's lovely, mate. It should have been 20 quid, that. How are we going to get one? So you want allowed. Well, you told me not to, because So no don't get the same. Everyone's into them at the minute. I school Kids college, don't right? get a tenner for this, won't yeah, we? Seven it. quid or something. Get a tenner for that. Well, uh, Who do you sell them to? People who buy want it, stuff. Old kids, People it? order stuff and stuff. No, with kids, everyone's after toys at Christmas. We know a few people anyway, you know, regulars. Toys, people want toys, high school musical, all that kind of stuff. What, what else do people ask for? Meat. Meat? Um, like meat, like steaks and um, chops. Um, I don't know even ask Jodie about all this because she knows all this kind of stuff. Do you think Jodie shoplifts more? She's a miles better shoplifter than me. I am telling you, she is a mint shoplifter. A good week would be about 800 quid. Seven or 800 pounds, yeah. What did you spend the money on? Anything. I bought my clothes as well out of it. Drugs, beer, bags, food. But what do people think of you, though, when you tell them that you shoplift? They all ask me to get them stuff. Everyone who knows me. I say, oh, I've seen some some at some so can you get me for Christmas or so. some people write lists down for me. Let me tell you every crime I've done so you don't think I'm just a shoplifter. <laughs> Why do you want me to know that you haven't just been down for shoplifting? Because it's it's a petty crime, isn't it? <laughs> so you want people to know that you've done more than petty crimes? No. Well, no, I don't want some people to know. But I, I don't want some people to think I've done that. Do you know? I don't. I don't want to ruin my reputation. Do you know what I mean? What is your reputation? Bad girl, bad girl, soldier. I've got nowhere to stay, Joe. Why not, Ab? Because they've kicked me out of ordnance. I've still got key. Yeah. They said they're gonna change the locks, right? Right, I was in bed this morning, woke up, still blathered from last night, with a bottle of cider next to the bed, as you do. Yeah, staff fucking knock on my door and then come in and say, oh yeah, by the way, I'm putting a notice here on your sofa saying that you have to leave today. And then he gave me this notice, yeah. I got up, I was still blathered, read it and it says, highlighted as well, in pen, yeah. saying, <laughs> Police will come if you do not leave the premises. They will okay. escort you off the premises. You're crew. You're crew. It's stupid. <laughs> so where are you going to stay tonight? Wherever. Surfer surfing, as you do. Just getting wiped out at the minute, and then... So I don't even care where I stay. Do you know what I mean? I might as well go to jail and know where I'm living for the next how many months they give me. What, you mean you might want to go back to prison? I won't, I won't be in this predicament, would I? I wouldn't be, like, wondering where I'm sleeping every night, where I'm going to get my next meal from and that. The girls are eventually offered a sofa for the night. But for the next two days, Abby is missing. Hiya, it's um, Lauren. Um, I'm a bit worried, actually. Um, Abby, she's got an order at Youth Fending Team and ISSP, um, but I haven't seen her for a few days and her phone switched off, so I'm just wondering if she's actually been in for any appointments. I've spoke to her... Um, Lauren, I'm, I'm on a friend, but I've just spoke to her dad as well, and her dad hasn't seen out of her and her phone's off. Uh, all right, then. All right, bye. She ain't seen, seen her. She ain't been in for her appointments. There's no one else, is there? She ain't got none of her clothes with her, none of her makeup, so I don't understand what she's doing.
Two days ago, Shauna was caught trying to shoplift over £200 worth of toys from Asda. A police drug test showed crack cocaine in her system, and as a condition of bail, she has to report to the police station today. I can't believe I had a bloody crack pipe that day, so it showed up on my drug test, so now it looks like I'm a druggie. Do you often take that, Shauna? Now and again, it's no, no. got a uh, mate. It's uh, offered, we don't buy it, it's just a day of day. I'll tell you the truth, I do buy it sometimes. No, yeah, but it's a waste of money. Yeah, it is a waste of money. And when I bought it, I wish I never, <laughs> after yeah, I smoked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many times a week do you reckon you do that? Oh, not many, oh, just I'd once say. in a every now and once in a blue moon, yeah, innit? Yeah, twice every week or something. Every some, yeah. That's, we get so it's like if well. we've got some money, we'll just um, do it, won't we? Yeah. Just think, fuck it, let's get a pipe. Shauna says she doesn't commit crime to buy drugs, but half of women in prison are regular drug users. Shauna won't find out if she's going back to prison until her court hearing in a week's time. After five days of being AWOL, Abby has finally turned up. But she's missed all of her youth offending appointments, so it's likely she'll end up back in court too. And she's still homeless. Been at my dad's girlfriend's last night. Um, Uncle Stephen's caravan the night before. And then the tent the night before that. Tent? Yeah. It's bloody freezing. Tell me about it. Far in a tent. Did you have quilts in that? Yeah, proper monkey in that there. Proper minging. Where are you staying tonight? Don't know where you're staying. You don't know? Really? You can stay at your dad's there, can't you? No. When did you last live in a place you called home? Mm, probably when I was at my mum's or something when I thought I had a home. Abby's been estranged from her mum <laughs> since she was 13, when their relationship yeah. broke down. Since then, she's moved between children's homes, foster care, hostels and her dad's, never settling anywhere for more than a few months. Yeah, this is... Um, this is Abby when she was little, my <laughs> little psycho baby. What was she like as a little girl? Great, absolutely great. Perfect, my little angel. I wanted a little girl, you know, like with the blonde hair like her off um, Poltergeist. Well, I had her and the Poltergeist as well within. And um, she was great, great little girl. She's still a great little girl. She just hides it well. Show them my Abbey folder. Abbey folder. Oh, oh yeah. It's full. This is them. Um, <laughs> My paperwork. This is Abby's paperwork in, it, in 12 months. Typical letter for Abby is Abby has been offered an ongoing support by Children's Services. However, recently Abby has not felt the need to engage with this support. That's just you all over, isn't it? Oh, that was a social worker. Yeah. Breach of curfew order, um, restricted charges, police, 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 custody, uh, solicitor's letters. Uh, suspicion of theft. Just goes on and on. I mean, she's made it alive. That's what I mean. She's made this alive. This is what it's all about. When she was younger, 13, and she was drinking a lot, and the ambulance drivers would ring us because the only thing Abby can say to her is my phone number, you know, paralytic in the streets, you know, the state she was in, you know, cars were waiting at the side of the road. If the ambulance driver woman said, if I hadn't picked her up, somebody would have done. Maybe it's just the way I am. I haven't got clear boundaries of what I'll do, so how can I set them for Abby? Um, I can't say to her, you know, you're not allowed to stay out till four in the morning, and then I roll in at four in the morning. You know, what? how, how fair's that? Got caught tomorrow. My emergency bag. Emergency bag?
Yep. Oh, cool. Just in case I get sent down. You will get sent down. Uh, I could do because I haven't been going to any of my appointments, so they'll just be like, see ya. Do you think there's anything you could do now to stop Abby from breaching and missing her appointments and stuff? What could I do? There's, there's nothing I can do. Nothing. Abby's Abby. There's me. I was the cutest kid. People used to admire me when I was little. Cause my mum dressed us mint. I was so cute. Shauna hasn't had much of a relationship with her dad since he left the family home when she was nine. She struggled with her behaviour ever since. When you see things in your childhood and when things have happened, Things like that affect you. It affects you, definitely. When he left us when I was nine year old and um, and I was like gutted and everything, and my next door neighbour like gave me a mobile phone to like phone his, his new house phone and his new bitch, do you know? I mean, obviously she is a bitch. If I say she is, she is. She took my dad away, so I thought she was. So I phoned the stupid cow up and I've been like, eh, fat bitch, rah, 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 rah. But remember, bearing in mind I'm nine years old, Oh, people don't understand you. I needed a dad. I thought I, need, I thought I thought he wanted to be a dad, but obviously he didn't. And I've learnt that now, and I know that now. But at the time, I was a kid. Abby's asked her dad for some money to go to the cinema, as this could be her last night of freedom. But he said no. I could get sent down tomorrow. I at least want a decent night out. All right. What, cinemas? It's not like, can I have 100 quid so I can go to fucking Uprise in our Leeds? Pathetic. What is What's pathetic? I don't know. I can ask you to buy me, like, a crate or something, and you buy me it, and then I ask you if I can have money to go to cinema. And you say no. I've got to show with him, I've got to say no sometimes, haven't I? I've got to say no, haven't I? Yeah, but you're just confusing. I'm confusing. Yeah. You say yeah to some things and then no to, like, other things. But I don't know. So that's the joys of being a parent, I'm being it. Yeah. That can go in court tomorrow, me. Fuck that. Not if I have to go with you. I won't go then. I can go work. Not have a day off. Fuck it, I'll take his beer. Nothing. Everyone that would have seen that then, it's like they would have thought, "What are you crying? Because you're not going to the cinema for?" But it's just not that at all. It's just him all over. If I get sent down, could you please take the stuff off the radiators and put them in that bag, situated at the door of my bed, old bedroom? Okay. Much appreciated. Do you know where Abby's stopping tonight? No. I that? don't know where I'm stopping tonight. Abby doesn't know where she's stopping tonight. Is that ever worried? Always worries me. You see what I mean? If he was bothered, he would at least say, oh, where are you staying tonight? Mm. No, Abby, see you tomorrow. Yeah? Paranoid though, if I've been smoking weed all day or something and start walking about in the dark. 
start thinking of up headlines and that on the news. Young girl killed down alleyway. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice one. Two, four, six, eight litres of lamb, lamb, lamb brusco. <laughs> Tastes like piss, but gets you fucked out your hand. <laughs> the cycle of drinking, drug taking and committing crime has become routine for Shauna. And prison clearly hasn't been a deterrent. I don't think there's fuck all wrong with me. I don't think I need to sort my life out. All I think I need to do is get a job. And I think that'll be it. That's all I need to do is get a job. Then I won't, then I won't commit crime or whatever, whatever crime you want to say, because I don't commit crime. What crime do I commit? Shoplifting is not even a crime to me. It is a crime. Is it for? Is it for? Well, yeah, it is a crime. Yeah. Yeah. Companies make billions each year. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're insured yeah. and the it's lot, mate. Nah, but when, when she's shoplifting, it's people like us that's paying. Trust me. People like us that's paying. Sammy, you're not fucking double. Do you I am not selling my body on the streets. I am I'm not even street robbing people. You don't yes. get away with everything. No, you don't. don't. I get caught for stupid things like shoplifting. When I'm doing like I don't know, different stuff, which yeah. I'm not gonna say. Obviously. And I'm not getting caught, but then I'm getting caught for a, a shoplifting offence. I am laughing. I am yeah, laid on sure. my no, pad listen. bed and I am listen, laughing. Mate. You say you want to sort your life out. Yeah, what's wrong with my life like? Tell me. You tell me, Joe. You tell me what is wrong with my life. Nothing if you're happy and you're not breaking the law. No, 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 no. You, you can't, you know, you can't answer, answer like that. It's about a reputation, honestly. It's true, though, and it should. No. Don't pull a face like it is because... She don't want people in Donnie to think that she's soft. Yeah, yeah. And she's not yeah. soft, she's a hard girl. Do you know what it's like? I just don't want to do it no more, but because I'm fed up of it, other people aren't fed up of it. Right. Two. To old friendship and hopefully new. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. To us. Go. Ah, you won. I quite enjoy it now. You enjoy going to court? It's not to do. <laughs> it's not looking good. No, it's, no, it's not. What did the solicitor say? The solicitor said it'd be um, because there's been three breaches that possible that uh, she could do 18 months or something. Maybe maybe serve half of that. How does that make you feel about your little girl? Well... Mm, it's... She's not. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where's safer. I don't know where's safer at the moment. You know, I wonder in the, the wonder in the streets of the York, um, or you know, locked up. Shauna is also facing the prospect of another stay in prison. I'm going to court because I got caught nicking the other day with Jodie and I took blame. I want to go to prison, actually, to tell you the truth. Fuck it. Why do you want to go to prison? I don't want to go to jail, really, but I just... Oh, it just fucking pisses me off out here. Just pisses me off when you just see what mates you've got and what great mates you've got and... Sometimes it's good to go to jail just to just to get took out so you can think, you can reflect on what's, what your life's going like, and you can just basically, sometimes you need a bit of time out. Some people do need a bit of time out. Think you and Jodie are good together? 
No. Obviously, I say yeah to what I do, and I, I've got my own mind. I could say yeah or I could say no. I'm 20 years old now. It's not like I'm a kid and she's forcing me to do things, because she don't. But when I'm with Jodie, things tend to go wrong with my life. And that's every time I knock about with Jodie. Is there anything you wouldn't do, Shona? Um, well, I'd never fucking rob an old lady. I'd never hurt no kid. And um, I'd never... And I don't think I've got guts to kill anyone. <laughs> Less than three months since she was last released, Shauna is sentenced to eight weeks in prison. Abby's been given another chance to prove she can stick to her youth offending appointments. And she's been told to go to the Salvation Army to see if they can help her find accommodation. How long have you been homeless? Two weeks. Two weeks. We're trying to explore out of area hostels for her because there's no real accommodation for you left in York, is there, because the council have sort of discharged duty of you. That's very graphic. So what we'll do is, I'll get on the phone and we'll see if we can get you another hostel somewhere. Yep. All right? You have to conform to, you know, the rules of the house. You have to, um, you know, be in at a certain time, or if you breach any of your tenancy conditions, then you'd be given you know, a warning, so everybody has to live by or conform to some sort of rules, you know, even if you are 17. So my advice to Abby would be to really, you know, she has to, you know, show a bit of restraint perhaps. Because the hostels in York won't take Abby anymore, she's relying on the Salvation Army to find her a bed anywhere else in the north. Hello? Yeah? In Sheffield? All right. All right, see ya. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. I've um, got a room at Roundabout Hostel in Sheffield, which is um, indefinite. They won't keep me more than two years or something. So I just thought it might be like seven days or something. But that's all right, innit? I don't know Sheffield. I don't know anyone in Sheffield. I've been there to a nightclub, but... Yeah. Oh, here we go. Are you OK, Anne? Yeah, all right. Ooh. A bit shaky. What? A bit shaky. No, just a bit shocked. Don't know. It only hits you when, I don't know, last minute, doesn't it? It's a big step for Abby to move to a strange city by herself. Sheffield is an hour and a half away from everyone she knows, including her friends involved in drinking and crime. It could mean a fresh start. Let's have it. After two weeks in prison, Shauna has been given early release and is back at home with her family. Just before you were going into jail, you were pretty frustrated about mm. stuff, weren't you? Yeah, I was saying that I want to go. What was going through your head that made you want to get away from um, I felt trapped. I felt stuck in a rut, so I just needed to escape. Just I needed a bit of time out, a little bit of... A little bit of time to myself. And two weeks, it was only two weeks, but I'm telling you now, it felt like a fucking lifetime. I'm telling you, it felt like so long. Only two weeks, spot on, 14 days. 14 days is quite a while when, when you sat waiting and waiting and waiting. The cut tops in, that's called cutting in with brush, without catching ceilings. Teddy's doing bottoms, without catching floor. Then we get the roller, and then we roll in between what they've cut in. All right. The Abby's move to Sheffield has given her the opportunity to get her life on track. Set. She's been allowed to swap some of her youth offending appointments for a painting and decorating course. <laughs> She's doing quite well. First impressions. She's doing well, Abby. 
I'm a painter decorator. <laughs> Enjoy it, Ali. Yeah. yeah. Is this the beginning of something new? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> My paintbrush pocket. Very nice. And had a drink in a few days. Not like me. Ooh. Right, I best go in and get some work done. So I'll see you later. Cheers. This time, prison seems to have had an effect on Shauna. And she too wants to make some changes. I've got a job interview, then I've got to go to um, an agency, and then I'm going to walk into a job because I phoned it up and they just said, oh, you just got to walk in. So I'm just going to walk in, charm him, get a job. <laughs> I hope this works. <laughs> Shauna's first interview is for a sales position in a local department store. They might even know me from robbing in the shop. No, I've never been caught in the shop before. Have you robbed from here? I ha I'm going to say I haven't. <laughs> before her second interview for a waitressing job, she wants a pint to steady her nerves. One. No, we're out of one. Cheers, love. Thanks a lot. He was like, have you got any experience? I was like, no, but it's just common sense. I didn't want to say, well, I did work in savoury in jail, mate. It's only been a morning, but Sean is struggling with the realities of job hunting. Let's go. Okay. No. Because what is the point? It's a fucking load of shit. I've got to go back in tomorrow on my fucking ID. What ID have I got? Nothing, man. I don't want to do it no more, to tell you the truth. I don't even want a job. What is the point? It's, it's a fucking load of shit. I'm just getting so sick of this, man. Put it down now. Yeah? Yes. Because. Despite her chaotic lifestyle, Hi. Shauna was always trying to retain a sense of control. Do I look good on it then? She was keen to show her life through her eyes and do some filming herself. Oh, can I? Oh, nice one. Yeah, man. Mm. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> well, 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 the coppers are all over today. It's fucking mad, mate. Look at them piggy bastards. No fucking <laughs> need, no fucking need. You dirty bastards. Get a proper job. <gasps> Blair Witch Project. Let me just say what I've been nicking. Right. Hair extensions, the bitch known as in me. Got these, because someone asked for them. Get a vibe for them. The prices of these are ridiculous. No wonder I make. You might think I'm a big fucking baby, but this is what's happened, yeah? Right. Fucking, I've been waiting in like a fucking... Oh! Oh, for fuck's sake! Shauna and her sister have had an argument, which Shauna blames for missing a probation appointment. Oh, this is probably the last thing that you'll see because I'm going back to jail anyway. Because I missed fucking probation because I've been sat here waiting for the stupid bitch. Oh, I just fucking pissed off. And I'm not even crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm fucking fuming. I'm fuming that I'm going back to fucking jail because of that stupid little slag. And you know her attitude? She makes me want to fucking knock her clean out. Because I'm the mouthy one and she's the quiet one, she's always in the right and I'm in the wrong. And she points in your face and everything like this. I'm not having that. I'm not having someone pointing in my face. I'll fucking punch her. But you know when I punch her, an old family... Shauna's done this again. She's done this. But it's all right because now because I'm going to jail, I'm going to buy myself a bag of drugs. Oh, fuck. I'm going to buy my son fucking... I haven't got... I've got three fucking quid. Three fucking quid? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. At all. 
Now she's, mm, she's ruined my chances now of being out for Christmas. I'm fucking, oh, my brother now, so see ya. I'm selling, I'm selling this now anyway, so in a bit. <laughs> Fucking darling, <laughs> darling man. Abby is settling into her new life in Sheffield. Sheffield, look, 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 S2, S3, S4, S5, S6 in the race. But the only people she's met are from the hostel, around court, or out partying. Any hopes for a fresh start are beginning to fade. Joy! Only two of these and four pint cans. Up and come to my victim awareness. Victim awareness? Yeah, we talked about our drinking sessions last night. What's victim awareness? Being aware about what the victims are feeling. Who's hurt by it all? The victim, the victim's family, um, the person who did the crime, the person who did the crime's family. <laughs> come to the road. You take it seriously, Abby? What? You take your youth benefit yeah, quite seriously? Yeah. Do you reckon you had last night then? I don't know. Only about 30 or something. 30 units? Yeah. Aren't you meant to have 21 in a week? Or is it 14? It's How like many? two or three a day, isn't it? How much are the drinks? 90p a drink. They were 90p a drink? Yeah, Jack Daniels, Coke, Sambucas, Pints of Stella. I want to go to the chip shop. I can smell one, right? But there isn't even one round here, I don't think. I don't think what my liver looks like. Why? It'll be all dead on that. Do you ever think it's a bit of a problem the drinking? Yeah. I ain't got a, I ain't got a drinking problem. But drink is a problem for me. <laughs> Why do you think you drink? To make me happy. Does it make you happy? Can you be happy without drinking? No. Shauna's determination to turn her life around has already unravelled. Having missed several more probation appointments, she's been recalled to court and expects to be sent back to prison today. Oh, I thought New Year, New Start, but I'm starting here by going to prison and I'm just going to stay in this little rut but I'm stuck in, do you know what I mean? If I can't sort myself out while I'm out, then I'm never gonna be able to sort myself out. I can't just sort myself out when I'm in jail, and then, do you know what I mean? Who are you looking at? Um, put my jammers together. For Shauna, packing her bag for prison has become a familiar ritual. Seven pairs of trousers. My head is like a jigsaw puzzle, I'm telling you. I just need to put everything back together again. Do you know what I mean? Be like a thousand pieces and I've only got round the edges. I need to start filling it all back in now and start... If you can understand what that means at all. I know we've talked a lot about you wanting to get a job, but actually I wonder sometimes whether you're ready for a job just yet. Mm. I think I am. I think I am ready for a job. I could easily do a job. It's not hard. It's just... <sighs> the only jobs I can get is telesales anyway. 
because that's the only experience I've got. Bye, Mum. I love you, Mum. And if I don't come back, I'll write to you. I love you more than anything. And take care of yourself, Mummy. I love you. I don't want to go back to jail. Ever again. If Shauna is sent to prison, it will be her third sentence in 12 months. Abby lasted four weeks in her Sheffield hostel before being evicted for several alcohol-related incidents. She's been taken in by another hostel across town. So what's been going on with you then? Um, well, I'm back at court on the 9th of February. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. I'm breaching my order. Every day. Well, you're not going to your friend No. Abby's been breaching her court orders for a drug offence she was convicted of over two years ago. Each time, getting more entrenched in the criminal justice system. If she continues to breach, she'll end up back in prison. For many around Abby, it sometimes seems she'd be safer there than on the outside. I had a fight with two lads this morning. I've got a big bump on my head. What happened? What? I started fighting with one lad and then the other one joined in and started whacking me. Why were, they, why were you fighting with these guys? What? Why were you fighting with guys? Because I was breaking up with one of them. And then his mate got involved. Abby, that's pretty nasty. Mm. Why don't you want to put marks on your neck? What? Or you like strangled me and that? These guys? Yeah. I was only with him for a week. And when did you meet him? <laughs> um, caught. <laughs> If I don't go to my appointments in these two weeks until court, then I'm definitely getting sent down. Sent away to Butlins with bars. Do you want to go to prison? I don't know, I'm not fussed. Are you really not fussed? But you've got some sort of... It's a change. It's a change? Yeah. What do you mean by that? I don't, know, I don't think I can stay in one place for too long, is it? You could if you wanted to. I don't think I want to. Abby and her dad have lost track of the number of times they've made this walk to court. It often seems She's decided there's no other way of life apart from this revolving door of prison. So how long do you think we're going to get? Um, because I only got a supervision order in the first place, I should only get minimum, like, four do two or six do three or something. So what's the worst you could say, do you think? That I don't have to go. The worst? Yeah. You don't have to go. Shauna was sentenced to eight weeks in prison. She's now nearing the end of her sentence. Was this all your jail mail? Yeah. Hope you are OK, love, and looking after yourself. You know, Shauna, we do all love you, and I mean that. 
We just don't like the nasty Shauna because we know it's not really you. You can be really kind and loving girl and that's the Shauna we want back. So get back to your old self, OK? Look after yourself. Love you loads. Nana and Pop. What do you think they worry about? That one day they're going to find me dead. I'm 20 now, my life could go two directions. The right way or the left way. And I want to go the right way, so... You don't seem so sure. I don't know. I just hope so. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Brilliant. That was mad. <sighs> Against all of Abby's expectations, she hasn't been sent to prison. Instead, she's been released from court with a clean slate. For the first time in nearly three years, Abby is free to live a normal teenage life. I'm not on any order. <laughs> uh, There's no order. That's it. <laughs> no appointment. I believe it. You're lost now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Good. You've done it, you've not yet. Well, basically, he knows I've been on order for years now. For the same thing, and I'd want it to end, so he just discharged me, and no further penalties. She's no risk to the community. No, no offended. No written, she's not offended. It's over. Do what you want, go where you want. Where do I go? Free. Can I go on holiday now? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can go on holiday, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more days. Nine more days. The odds of breaking the cycle of crime are stacked against girls like Shauna and Abby. The reality is, two thirds of young women who go to prison will re offend within two years. Being a con has its cons, like being locked up with bare moms. I've been here three times before, and then I said I ain't coming no more. I've learnt my lesson and know the score, but pigs always come knocking at my door. Then back in this place feeling fucked up and raw, too mashed to remember what I did the crime for. The drug, the drink, the anger in me, the reason I'm here, not out there and free. The chip on my shoulder, the hate in my heart. They say to get help, but don't know where to start. I will get help, I will stop, I'll try, but this is the only way I know how to get by. I sit in myself thinking, why, why, why? Get on with it, rude girl, and don't fucking cry. <laughs>